Louisiana Beer Reviews, McSorley's Black Lager. <clears throat> McSorley's Old Ale House, which is located in Manhattan and has been open since 1854, produces two beers presently, the Black Lager and the Irish Pale Ale. And actually, they don't produce it. They pay people to produce the beer for them. They've been bottling the beer since 1934 when they contracted with Fidelio Brewery. Fidelio. Do I have my eyes wide shut? They produced a stout, a lager, and the ale, and now it's just the, the lager and the ale. <clears throat> Later on, Rheingold took it over, then they went under, and now Paps is the brand holder, and they contract with a brewery in Utica, New York, to make the beer. I don't know what the alcohol content is. They don't say on the website. Beer Advocate has it listed at 5.5%. I guess that's true. Um, another thing, this ale house on East 7th Street in Manhattan did not allow women in. Women were not allowed in, but in 1970, a court order commanded that they let women in. So, you know, the, America is the land of the free where you're told, you, you're free to do whatever you're told, basically. Uh, anyway, this gets a B on Beer Advocate. I gave it a B plus when I had it last year. It gets a very fine rating on Rape Beer, and it gets a so-so rating on I'm sorry, it gets a very fine rating on the beer in me, and it gets a so-so rating on rape beer. Uh, they've had three families who have owned the brewery, uh, the uh, ale house, uh, the McSorley family, and two others. And they have the whole timeline on their website of when different McCarran's bought it and the uh, present family. Um, can't think of their name. Pretty good amount of smoke with this. Okay, get a medium beige head, and it is pretty black. Now, under light, you can see a little brown, uh, maybe a ruby red coming through. All right, let's go with the smell test. Get dark roasted barley malt, um, maybe some creaminess, some breadiness, um, maybe some clean water. That's about all. Let's go with the taste. Dark roasted barley malt, sweetness, I detect some coffee notes, a little bit of bitterness at the end. It's pretty malt oriented though. See some lacing around here. Um, it's probably not quite as good as the Dixie Black and Voodoo. It probably is a little better than the uh, Samuel Adams Black Lager because I found that was a little too burnt tasting, although it's not bad, but it's really on par with all, all your other black lagers, your Shiner, Schwarzbier, and all that, so I bought this in Metairie, Louisiana for $7.99, a six-pack, and the Pale Ale was all, the Irish Pale Ale was also $7.99, so it's, the price is competitive with all these other, uh, deals and uh, so it is a Paps brand and um, it is available on tap at the Ale House in Manhattan I'd like to go there I think I should go there uh, and overall I think it's pretty good I'll stick with the B plus it's very good it's not too complex it's nothing challenging, but for a nice, pleasant, easy-going beer, I don't see anything wrong with it. So, 
Laissez Le Bon Temps Roulé. This is a very good beer. The, and by the way, the body is sort of uh, light to medium, and the finish is crisp, clean, refreshing, and pretty dry. So, as other reviewers would say, two thumbs up. And I'm going to end this review by saying, y'all come on down to New Orleans and go to the LSU football game.